If you want to walk and run with more fluid movement, less stiffness, less pain, more efficiency, it's important that you can shift your pelvis equally well to the right and left without compensation. Both knees should be um, straight, feet under your hips or a little wider, and you should be able to easily shift to the right and left without compensation. So we don't want our pelvis to rotate out of this. We don't want to hike and bend a knee. Both knees should be able to stay straight and we should be able to shift to both sides. And as you can see, the pelvis shifting causes movement in our hip joints. So whatever side I'm shifting the pelvis toward, that closes the hip angle on this side and opens it on the opposite side. So hips really play into this movement, but this also has an effect all the way down our legs to our feet. So there are foot shapes that go with the shifting, our spine, so our back and our neck have shapes that go with the shifting movement, and our arms. So our arms up to our shoulders, connecting to the spine movements. This is really a whole body pattern, and the shifting pattern goes with our heel strike and early propulsion on the back leg. So this is one important pattern that you want to pay attention to and improve if you want to walk more fluidly with less effort, less stiffness, less pain. When you compare shifting to right and left, let me know if one side is